You're probably wondering if your eyes are deceiving you. They are not. What you see in front of you is indeed a Star Wars The Black Series 2-pack. So the next logical question would be, why? We'll talk about it on the other side. Welcome to GI Reviews. I am The Ruckus. How have you been? It's been a minute, a good long minute. And uh, that long minute is uh, part of the reason why you see what you see in front of you. Know your eyes are not deceiving you. It is a Star Wars two pack. Now you're saying this is GI Reviews. We're supposed to be reviewing and discussing military based. Uh, material like G.I. Joe, Valiverse, things of that nature. And you would be right, but it isn't G.I. Reviews just because I mostly review G.I. Joe. It's G.I. Reviews because I review military-based figures. And, uh, you know, it's been a drought uh, recently with uh, G.I., with classified series. Uh, so um, that's why I haven't been recording. And uh, I basically was thinking, you know, it may not be G.I. Joe or even Valiverse Action Force or whatever, G.I. whatever, but um, Star Wars, the Star Wars brand is uh, rife with military affiliated uh, characters, figures and personnel. So I figured, you know, um, why not? Why not review the uh, the troopers? There it is. I mean, you got troopers. What's a trooper? A soldier. Soldier is what? Military. So I figured, you know what? Without going overboard and, and uh, reviewing uh, civilian figures from classified or anything like that and keep it with the military, clone troopers, storm troopers, you know, the generals, meaning, and the generals would be like Jedi council members that have been designated as generals. They're part of the military. So I figured, why not? They're uh, military. And uh, I mean, let's keep it a stack. I will keep it a stack. I was getting antsy, needed something to do. Uh, I was um, basically very uh, anxious about not having made any content for this channel in a while and I figured this would be a good way to do some of that and uh, I'll test the waters with this uh, this first offering of a classified series we'll see how it goes anyhow you see what we got going on this is a two-pack this is uh, from uh, the uh, Disney Plus series Ahsoka and uh, this is the phase one clone trooper lieutenant and the 332nd Ahsoka's clone trooper standing right next. So, um, you know, they have differences in their uh, attire and, of course, their helmet. And um, we will uh, check those out when we get them out of packaging. If you know anything about Star Wars and especially during uh, that time during the Clone Wars, uh there was all the clones were all based off of uh, Jango Fett, uh, Boba Fett's father, and that's why they all look alike. So, um, you know, they they're basically the cannon fodder of the galaxy, and they were all throughout the Clone Wars and um, and beyond until they got replaced by stormtroopers. See, they, there is a difference between clone troopers and they were replaced by stormtroopers when. Uh, the Republic became the Empire. So, um, if you know anything about Star Wars, well, you uh, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, you look at that packaging. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's been a minute. I've been sitting on this for a while. I believe this is an exclusive, and I want to say, uh, or it may not be. It may actually be. Uh, no, it is an exclusive. It is an exclusive. I just can't remember from where. I want to say. Um, I want to say Amazon, it might be, uh, it might be 
It may be uh, Walmart. I'll figure it out by the end of this uh, this recording, and I'll let you guys know, unless you let me know down below. Anyway, uh, this opening has gone on long enough. I'm four and a half minutes in already. So on the side there, you see we've got uh, some artwork. Going to get nothing on the other side, of course. And on the back, you have some more artwork of the lieutenant phase one clone trooper lieutenant and the clone trooper from the 332nd ahsoka's general ahsoka and it reads uh, throughout the clone wars clone troopers fought separatist battle droids across the galaxy though little republic support could be spared in helping ahsoka tano assist a besieged mandalore a 501st clone trooper division pledged their loyalty to ahsoka with repainted helmets and if you saw the animated series, The Clone Wars, you know what I'm talking about. And so uh, back to the front and uh, let's uh, let's get this uh, going on. I'm already five and a half minutes in, so uh, I'm going to make this quick. All right. First things first. This is a Target exclusive two pack. I knew it was an exclusive. It's just uh, I've sat on it for so long that uh, I couldn't remember. Um, you know, who would belong to Target, Walmart, GameStop, whomever. But no, it is a uh, Target exclusive. If it were uh, a gaming great, then I would have known automatically that it was a GameStop exclusive. They seem to go hand in hand. OK, so that mystery is solved. And now the new mystery for those of you that are uninitiated when it comes to Star Wars, you're probably asking, these are clones, so, you know, without their helmets on, they look alike. One is a trooper, and the other is uh, an officer, a lieutenant, as a matter of fact. Uh, so, you're probably asking yourselves, which is which? Well, right here that you see coming up right here, that is the lieutenant. And um, coming up now, that is the, uh, that's the clone trooper, Soka's clone trooper from the uh, 332nd. And um, you could tell because the trooper has the, uh, the stripe uh, going um, up and down uh, his torso. And um, the lieutenant does not. The real differences would be uh, when they put their helmets on. But you could see the difference in the uh, uniforms. Uh, the trooper has got all kinds of uh, blue highlights going along the sides of the legs and um, so forth, such as that. Uh, I could tell you straight away that they're the exact same figure with just some different paint apps. Uh, which makes sense because they're clones. So you know what I'm saying? They may not be the same exact character per se, but they are stemming from the same uh, genetic material, if you will. So um, we'll take a closer look at uh, both of them momentarily. Uh, I will go through the weapons, which is uh, easy to do because they both come with the same exact weapons uh, a piece. So um, all I have to do is show you one time and just tell you to times it by two. So first off, we've got the uh, the blaster here, and this is the uh, standard issue uh, hand blaster that uh, most, if not all, troopers come with. You see, it's a mullet and a, a black, and uh, pretty long, and um, as is uh, typical with most. Uh, troopers, storm or clone or otherwise, there's no place to store it. So it is what it is. Next up is their long range weapon. And like I said, uh, they both come with the same exact weapon. So what you see here, uh, whichever one you're talking about, whether it's the lieutenant or the trooper, it's going to be the same thing for uh, the other guy. And uh, you see it's uh, pretty long. Pretty long, and uh, it's got um, what looks to be a scope on the bottom, which is uh, pretty weird to me, but uh, still nice. And like I said, they both uh, they both uh, come with the same exact weapons, and that's it for their weapons. We will start off with the trooper, 
and of course uh, looking at the uh, head sculpt this is going to be more or less what we see on the other guy <laughs> but uh, they uh, did a pretty decent job with the uh, face uh, face print uh, I learned a new term today looking at a Marvel Legends stream uh, you know when it's um, for a uh, live action they're called um, it's called photo real and then of course for comic and or cartoon it is now known as inkjet we used to just call it digital printing but yeah it's called inkjet printing uh, this is uh, based off of um, the Ahsoka show so there was uh, actual live uh, action um, uh, the name escapes me uh, oh boy that plays uh, Boba Fett and formerly Django Fett he uh, put in a little cameo for this too so uh, it looks pretty good and then of course you've got um, the rest of the figure uh, Black Series is uh, known for um, having uh, single jointed swiveling joints at the elbows and the knees sometimes with their troopers they'll actually have double jointed uh, either elbows or knees or both it depends on uh, what figure it is but um, in terms of the articulation and I'm going to go through it I only need to go through it once because like I said they both have it they both are the same exact figure so with the head the head is on the head and the neck are on separate joints which is cool so you can bend the head down that far and the neck goes with it he'll look up that far of course you can rotate side to side and you get some nice tilt you can T-pose and the shoulder pads or pauldrons if you want to call them that they uh, are attached to the shoulder so you don't have to worry about that being interfered with kind of sore I think am I right or are they attached to the my bad no they're attached to the top I thought they were attached because when they first wrote nope they're attached to the clavicle to the uh, top of the shoulder so my bad on that but that's going to impede you going 360 but what arm actually does that um, you can go out a bit with that. You've got double jointed, uh, excuse me, you've got a bicep swivel, so that lets you know you're going to have a uh, double jointed elbow, which is cool. And uh, you've got a swiveling wrist. The left hand, the uh, left hand is a horizontal uh, hinge, and of course, the hand itself is a trigger finger. The right hand, also a trigger finger, but it has the vertical hinge. Uh, you get uh, diaphragm articulation, so it goes back this far, not too much, goes forward that far, not too much. You can rock it side to side, and of course, you're going to get your rotation at that diaphragm. The legs, your hips will uh, go out that far. You can kick pretty high, not bad, not bad. Go back, not bad either. And here is where Black Series rears its head, single jointed knees that swivel you got that as far as the toe articulation you can point that far forward that far up it does have ankle pivot and you have holes at the bottom of the feet so that's pretty cool and like I said it's the same it'll be the same on the lieutenant as well so um, what uh, the last uh, the last accessory and this is what totally uh, distinguishes, I mean, you could tell from the uniform, but what definitely distinguishes is the helmet, and I'm putting that on right now. These guys painted their helmets uh, in like homage to Ahsoka because they were her own private division right there. Uh, well, I shouldn't say private, but you know what I'm saying. They were devoted to her, and they, uh, in, uh, you know, in unity, they painted their uh the helmets so uh, and you see the uh, the design up there that is reminiscent of Ahsoka so there you have it and just so you can see the differences in the uniform obviously our lieutenant is missing the uh, the blue striping that uh, goes uh, down the chest and uh, on the arms the lieutenant actually has striping going down the arms. The uh, trooper didn't have that. And uh, you see we've got battle damage there, scuff marks on that they have been 
put through it on both sides. And uh, when it comes to the legs, uh, same as uh, the trooper, but you don't get any of the blue highlights down around these knee, knee uh, protectors. And uh, everything else is essentially the same as you can see there. And uh, once again, how you uh, distinguish them, it's all about the helmet. So I'll stick that on. And uh, oh, by the way, this uh, chest piece appears to be free floating, at least mine's is. Anyway, that seems to be a good thing. So uh, there it is. He seems to be. Uh, I want you to see the entire helmet, so let me, uh, kind of difficult to zoom out there, so let me uh, do this, bend him down some, so you can see, very, very nice, and that is the, uh, the lieutenant. Here's a look at them with their weapons, I've got it in reverse to how it's shown on the package, and I've got the lieutenant with the, uh, we'll call it, hand blaster, standard issue weapon, and the, uh, the trooper has got the uh, the long range joint and even though this isn't general Ahsoka Tano which uh, she was still uh, she was much younger and uh, Padawan uh, during this time this uh, set is uh, from the Ahsoka TV series and that's what uh, the Ahsoka figure that you see in between the two troopers are from so figured I'd uh, at least get that in so, closing out this review with the final shot of uh, both characters from this two-pack. And we are talking about the Star Wars The Black Series Phase 1 Clone Trooper Lieutenant, which is on our left. And the 332nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper on our right. Very uh, nice, uh, very nice figures if you especially if you're into Star Wars Black Series and uh, as far as uh, Star Wars Black Series is concerned my favorite figures from that line are Storm and Clone Troopers so uh, you know I'm here for it uh, like I said uh, this is GI Reviews and uh, I just figured uh, it was a rationalization of course but I think it was a fair one that um, if I were to review any military uh, characters from the Star Wars line, it falls under the purview of a, a GI review because they're troopers and troopers are military, military are GI. So I went with it. What do you guys think? Uh, like I said, uh, doing this first time, I'm going to see what the uh, response to it is and uh, maybe we'll uh, see more troopers uh, both Storm and Clone down the line. We'll see battle droids too. That's technically military because they uh, definitely um, were uh, part of the whole situation with the separatists and the uh, Republic and everything else like that. Um, so we'll deal with them. Council members uh, or uh, various uh, Jedi that served also as generals like Ahsoka uh, uh, also, uh, Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Mace Windu, they were all generals, uh, Yoda. Yeah. So we'll see, um, what we'll do about that in the future. So let me know down below, leave a like, if you will share, subscribe, leave your comments below. Once again, what do you think about, um, adding some Black Series into the repertoire of uh, reviews for uh, the GI side of things and hit the notification bell. You want to be informed when I upload another video and uh, I'm going to let uh, our, um, our clone troopers take us out. Thanks guys. Take care.